Hello and welcome to the ADA Securities Markets Update and today we'll have a look at yesterday's uh, economic releases in addition to a preview on uh, today's European session and uh, the US session economic releases. Basically we'll start from uh, services PMI which came in for uh, Germany, Spain, France and uh, the uh, UK. Most of them came in with a disappointing figure. Basically a good news came in from Germany and Spain and the Eurozone while the bad news came in for Italy, France and UK. UK PMI came in with uh, a disappointing figure declining to a 60 from in November, sorry, 60 in November versus 62 or down from 62.5 in October. However, we've seen also uh, further economic releases during yesterday uh, from uh, the U.S. session and for the U.S. ADP uh, non-farm employment change came in with another surprise. October figures were revised up to uh, 148,000 from 130,000, and November figures came in better than expected, above 200,000 jobs to 215,000 uh, jobs. Also. We've seen the uh, U.S. trade balance deficit uh, narrowed f further to 40, uh, 40 point six. Uh, billion dollar from 40, uh, 43 billion dollar the month before. ISM uh, non-manufacturing index also came in with another disappointing declining to 53.9 from 55.4. A new home sales for the month of September and the month of October came in uh, jointly, were jointly releases because of uh, due to the government shutdown. Uh, September uh, figures came in at uh, 354,000 and October came in at 454,000. Uh, also, Bank of Canada uh, kept its interest uh, unchanged at 1% while the uh, uh, the trade balance for Canada came in with a surprise showing a surplus of 0.1 billion uh, up from minus 0.3 billion. Also for the uh, Asian session today, this morning we've seen the trade balance from Australia. It shows us uh, that more uh, uh, more deficit or the, uh, the trade balance deficit widens to minus 0.53 billion in October down from minus 0.27 uh, billion in November in September sorry as for today we'll be waiting for a Bank of England and a European Central Bank rate decision both banks are expected to keep the rates and keep the policies on change Bank of England rates remain at 0.5 percent and the asset purchases facility to remain at 375 billion pounds Bank uh, the uh, European Central Bank to keep its interest rate at 0.25 and the deposit rate at 0 percent what the most important thing like to look at is the the bank statement, especially with the European Central Bank statement, which might hint for uh, further LTR or, or another uh, measures could be taken to stimulate the economy. On the other hand, also from the U.S., we'll be having the uh, prelim GDP for Q uh, for Q3, in addition to the jobless claims, which may rise a little bit in last week, and finally factory orders is expected to decline in. Uh, October uh, due to also some effects from the government shutdown. Yesterday, by the end of the day in, in the U.S. session, we've seen like a, a, a huge impact on uh, or huge uh, movement, especially in gold prices, which uh, spiked more than 1.5 percent toward 1,250, uh, and also silver uh, recovered above uh, 18, reaching uh, reaching as high as 1980, uh, 88 so far. The uh, the movement came in with no uh, uh, with no specific news so far, but. Uh, most likely who uh, the, the people or the traders who uh, follows the market uh, for the past week uh, can see or maybe they might notice that there was a uh, buying on dips in uh, commodity on, in commodities for the past two weeks however uh, for today we're expecting some uh, uh, bullish uh, uh, view on uh, euro and uh, the British pound for now and uh, the uh, impact should come from uh, the uh, this the bank's decision which likely to have a notable impact especially if the uh, Mario drag or if Mario Draghi the ECB uh, the ECB governor may hint for further measures to stimulate the economy this is it for, for uh, from ADS securities today we'll see you once again tomorrow with more uh, markets update and you can follow also our uh, uh, social media pages twitter facebook and youtube this is for today see you once again tomorrow